What's up guys, Killer6 back with another Borderlands video for you. Today we're taking a closer look at the recent tech demo for Unreal Engine 4 where Randy Pitchford, the CEO of Gearbox, showed off what appears to be a hint of things to come for the Borderlands universe. After closer inspection, I found 10 things that you guys might have missed. So without further ado, here they are. And number 10 is... Number 10, the demo starts with a floating sphere and on the sphere are the letters UBO. The sphere also has the same arrow style that you'll see later on in the garage, but more on that here in a bit. But here's me jumping into the deep water. I think this sphere will be a droid along the lines of BB-8 from Star Wars, a rolling companion or an NPC. Number nine! No, no, Gary, that, that's an upside down six! Who are you trying to fool? At number nine, moments after Randy makes a reference to needing new options for lighting and the possibility of going to other planets outside of Pandora, he calls for a character model to be placed on the screen. It's possible that this is just a simple asset, not necessarily a character that we would know, but they went through a lot of trouble to purposely hide her face, including adding a very large shoulder pad, which Randy himself notes is conveniently placed. But there are a few things that make this character model interesting, such as what appears to be a rocket pack or a booster pack on the character's back. Perhaps along the lines of Reinhardt from Overwatch, this character might have a boost option, which will allow them to travel quickly across distance. Don't hate, it's number eight. And number eight, another interesting point is the shoulder pad itself. It appears to have a Vladoff star on it. Now this could be a clever use of an asset in the game, or maybe it means something more. What would be interesting is if this is hinting at manufacturers going into the armor and shield business, this being a Vladoff piece of armor. Let's see number seven! Coming to number seven, also notable about this character is the legs. The right leg is covered up and protected. The left leg has a loose boot and the pants rolled up. Now this could possibly hint that this is Tiny Tina as she has a prosthetic left leg, but this character model also appears to have brunette hair. So I'm a little torn on this one, but more on that here in just a minute as well. And now for number six. Coming in number six, moving indoors now to the garage, and there are a lot of interesting things to be seen here, but let's start with the license plates on the wall. Looking closely, you can see that they read Burkett, Gearbox, DAC 03, and Red Run 2. Now, there are two more that are completely illegible, even when I zoomed in on them and adjusted levels in Photoshop, they just appear to be blank. Red Rum is obviously just murder spelled backwards, as we learned from The Shining, and I'd guess that Dak and Burkat are probably programmers or artists at Gearbox. Five! That's a number! At number five, as we zoom further out in the tech demo, we see what appears to be a Crazy Earl door. Now, this is an asset that they've used without meaning anything before, so kind of take this one with a grain of salt. It's likely just a door, but there is the possibility that this hints at a return of Crazy Earl. Coming in at number four, and then a doozy, a propeller and an engine. Many people were quick to assume that this might mean flying vehicles in the next Borderlands game, but in all likelihood, it's probably just there for looks. But we can dream, can't we? Three! Coming in at number three, then almost as if just a piece of junk in the corner is a box labeled with what appears to be claptrap, but you know, when you zoom in, it might say car sap. It, it's really hard to tell. It kind of looks like claptrap though, and I was sort of hoping that this was all that remained of him, but that's yeah, wishful thinking. And we're bringing it along now to number two. Coming to number two, on the front of the garage is a giant arrow pointing into the doorway. Now this arrow seems to be J-shaped, which has led several people, including myself, to suspect that Janie Springs might be taking Scooter's place as our resident mechanic. Time to play Borderlands the pre-sequel so I can dig deeper on this one. And finally, here we are at number one! Number one, and finally, as the tech demo comes to an end, we get one last look at the character model in detail. As we slide past her, we can see some more detail on her back. The jetpack has a fuel cell or a battery which is tucked into a pouch on her back, and she also has a knife right underneath of that which has like a cool grip slash brass knuckle thing going on. And even though she appears to be a brunette, it could just be the shadows. So I'm going to go ahead and go out on a limb and say that I think that this is hinting at Tiny Tina as a possible playable character in the game. So there you have it guys, 10 things you might have missed in the Unreal Engine 4 tech demo from Gearbox, featuring what certainly appears to be assets for the upcoming Borderlands game. If you enjoyed this video and you like what I do, then hit that like button. If you're new here and you want to see more, then hit subscribe. Thank you guys for watching. Take care.